So this ID came out of uh, the special interest group on educate, education, training and outreach. And as you may remember from earlier uh, CAs, <coughs> that this was announced at CA 2017 in Atlanta. And uh, it came out of an ID that, uh, that we had at the WEC 8 conference in Kyoto, so where Fondo was also uh, present. And the other two organizers who cannot be here today, uh, Steve Stett uh, and Matthias Lang, were also uh, on that occasion where we thought, okay, it might be a good idea to start thinking about a special interest group uh, on education, training and outreach within CAA to bring together uh, people yeah, as a kind of a network and also to try to see how we can, uh, how we can share experiences. Uh, after that, uh, I had a successful brainstorm meeting with uh, both Matthias and Steve. Uh, Kondo could not be there, uh, unfortunately, because we couldn't afford a ticket from Kyoto to Tübingen for him. But uh, that, so we, we met there in August 2017. We set up some ideas about what we wanted to do, and then, unfortunately, not much else happened. Uh, well, there are various reasons for that, mainly having to do with uh, the time management, I think, of the various uh, people involved. So in that sense, this session is also a bit of a last ditch attempt to see if we can revive the special interest group or actually get it, uh, get it kick-started and, uh, and to start actually doing things. So I'm happy that you're here. I hope you're all, uh, yeah, uh, that you brought your positive mindset uh, about how to, how to do this and uh, we'll see what comes out of it. So the ambitions that we, that we defined uh, in 2017, uh, were, were these three. So on the one hand we thought, okay, there is a lot of talk about uh, teaching in digital archaeology. Also this morning we saw lots of wonderful papers, lots of examples, uh, but one of the things that seems to be a bit uh, yeah, uh, in the open or sometimes even missing is uh, yeah, what do we actually have in terms of guidelines, in terms of archives of materials. Um, this morning, uh, LF3A mentioned, for example, that in Germany they have this uh, set of competences defined within the German archaeological uh, community. And this is fine, obviously, but hardly anybody outside Germany knows that it exists. And if it exists in Germany, we don't really know what happens with it. So there are yeah, lots of sources of information, we guess, that are out there and that are not really accessible to, uh, to people from outside who might want to be looking at how people do stuff. So what we would like to have as a long-term goal is basically to see if we can move towards things like standard learning objectives and best practices. Um, not saying this has to happen within the special interest group, rather not, I would say, uh, but we could at least keep an eye on it and see, okay, where are we going as, uh, as CAA members involved in this, uh, in this field? Because obviously, if we have that kind of standards available, the kind of best practices available, it will also be easier to transfer the knowledge to, uh, yeah, to people who have, don't have the access to that or who don't have uh, the possibility to involve uh, formal lectures uh, in, their, in their curricula. So we had in mind then that uh, we would actually try to set up a website that would collect all this kind of, uh, kind of information apart from organizing dedicated workshops and roundtables. Obviously, the workshops and roundtables are happening anyway at CAA, so I'm not sure if the special interest group is needed for that. But I guess if we are thinking about something like a, yeah, a centrally organized uh, repository of, uh, of resources, then such a, such a structure could be useful. So that is where we, uh, where we came from. Okay. So... What we had in mind for this session, and uh, yeah, again, things have changed a little bit uh, because of the absence of, uh, of Steve and also one of our other participants uh, could not be here, was first to have some short showcases of what people would consider best practices and ideas for education and training. Obviously, quite a few of these already were presented earlier, uh, earlier today, so there is, I think, no lack of examples in, uh, in that respect. <coughs> but we still have two short presentations uh, left. Uh, the first of these by uh, Xavier and Elisabeth about uh, how they share uh, their training. And the other one by Lutz uh, sitting over here who would f will make the case that it's not just about archaeology but about much more. 
Unfortunately, Steve Stats paper is cancelled. Uh, so 